G'day YouTube. I've uh, done a bunch of videos before on the 7, 9, 10, or 11 things you should do after installing Linux, Mint, Ubuntu, CentOS, etc, etc. They were quite big, they were quite long, and there's, uh, there's only a few things in particular that I would recommend you really do do when you install uh, Ubuntu 17.10, as you, uh, you may have already done so. So I'll get started off with those. So number one is, uh, now you're obviously logged in there, you're looking around, go to the menu and type in the following, and that is uh, software. Now go to software and updates, the app there. What we actually want to do firstly is uh, install proprietary drivers is what I'm trying to say here and that you'll be able to find through the additional drivers tab. Now this is a virtual machine so you're not going to see too much going on here, although surprisingly we are. We can see the, uh, the micro code for the uh, Intel CPU, so proprietary software there. Sometimes you'll also find the Wi-Fi. Uh, proprietary software and also last but not least the video card such as your NVIDIA card. Uh, depending on what you want to do I would uh, turn on the video card, click apply changes and uh, let it load and save and close. So that's uh, phase one so that will make uh, your hardware obviously a bit more interoperable, uh, a little bit more seamless, things might work a bit better there. So uh, number two now is uh, tweaking your actual interface here. So interestingly, when I go to the menu here and type in the app tweaks, this is actually refers to something called the GNOME tweak tool. And let's load that up. And like I say, interestingly, it's not in fact installed when you first go to uh, uh, load this up. You will see the app there, but it will take you to the uh, GNOME Tweaks uh, page here for the Ubuntu Software Center. What you want to do is click uh, Install. Mine obviously says Launch because I've already installed it. And uh, you've got a lot of things here. You've got Appearance, Desktop, uh, exchange, Extension Changes, Font Changes, Power. Uh, top bar changes. At this point I'm just reading through these things pretty quickly, but they are quite handy. There's a lot of cool little customization options that you do have here, so that's pretty cool. So that would be the second thing I would do uh, after the first. And the third and uh, final thing, really quite important, is to make sure you've got your third-party video uh, codecs and extras installed. Now, you may have done this at startup, but if you find that uh, you didn't do this when you installed, uh, what you would do is go to a terminal and type in the following, sudo apt uh, install ubuntu restricted uh, dash extras and hit dash y to automate the install it will ask for your password and there we go mine's already the newest version but that of course will allow uh, any video player for the most part to uh, allow the playing of videos and uh, it also works with Java and Flash and it does all these other little extra things there as well which is good to see. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, that's uh, the three things I would do after first installing uh, Ubuntu 17.10. That's the additional drivers, uh, the customization tweaks for with the GNOME tweaks tool and uh, lastly the, the codecs as I've just done there, video codecs and whatnot. Now what I might do is a bonus one, a fourth one which is maybe somewhat obvious but uh, what you guys do want to always do when you start and install a new operating system is make sure you got the latest and greatest version uh, so what I would do is uh, do the following command when you open up a terminal uh, sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade now this will check the repositories for the latest version of, of every program and the kernel and all that and uh, sudo apt upgrade will uh, go ahead and actually just get those installed. So let's see that we have the latest and greatest because I've just installed this uh, virtual machine moments ago and yes, that's fine, that's all good. So there we go guys, there's the uh, three uh, most important things to do after first installing Ubuntu 17.10 plus a bonus one on the side there. Cheers guys, hope you've enjoyed.